Hello, my name is Jason Kunst. I'm a technical marketing engineer for Identity Services Engine. This presentation is focused on easy and quick setup for guests, BYOD, and secure access. Today, I will be bringing you through our new wireless setup tool in ICE 2.2 and focus on the current configuration for secure access, also known as .1x. ICE setup for wireless makes it extremely easy to quickly configure your wireless flows in a matter of minutes. The wireless setup flows in ICE 2.2 allow you to get ICE and a wireless controller up and running quickly with any necessary configuration along with basic customization and settings needed for your secure access, guest, and BYOD use cases. In this demo, I will show you how the tool integrates Active Directory with Identity Services Engine and the Cisco wireless controller for secure employee access via 802.1x. Now let's get into using the tool. After you've logged into Identity Services Engine, in the upper right you can launch wireless setup. Here we'll load the UI for our easy wireless setup. Next we'll choose secure access set up. We can enter in our wireless controller IP address and the credentials needed to manage that controller and also set up the relationship with a shared secret radius uh, between ICE and the, and the WLC. We click register Here we're reaching out to the controller, configuring the Identity Services Engine IP for radius communication. And now we have a registered controller in the, U, in the setup tool. Here we click Next. Uh, we, give it a, we give our WLAN SSID a name. Here I'm going to call it Secure Access. And I'm going to choose one of the, the, the WLC interfaces that are already configured. Here I'll choose my Access VLAN used for my employees. We click Add. Uh, now our Secure Access WLAN is enabled. We click Next. Next I'm going to join my Active Directory domain and type in the credentials for that. This will allow ICE to join the domain and configure ICE to that to give us the Active Directory groups that we can use for our secure access use case. Now that we've connected to AD, we can filter on the employees, the, the groups that we want to use. So here I'm just going to do something simple. I'm going to, I'm going to select my employees group, and that's going to be mapped to my access VLAN. You could add in other secure employee groups as well. Here we click Next. And we're done. That's it. That's all there is to it. In a matter of minutes, we set up a secure access WLAN with Identity Services Engine Radius for .1x. So now we're done with the setup. I'll go over to my iPad. I'll turn on my Wi-Fi. And you can see that my secure, S my secure access SSID is available. I'll type in my credentials to an employee in the employee group. Click join. It'll ask me to accept the certificate of my policy services node. Click on accept. Now I have access. Now we'll go launch Safari web browser and show you that we do have access uh, to the internet. And that's it for the, the quick and easy wireless setup and connectivity. Now we'll go over to Identity Services Engine and we'll take a look at the configuration and access controls 
uh, that were configured by the tool uh, to get this up and running. So we can go up into, uh, it's really simple for, for dot one x connectivity, right? Um, first, what we're going to be, you know, what, what we'd be looking at here is go look at the identi external identity sources. You can see that we're set up for demo.local, which is my Active Directory domain. And under that, we, we have our groups configured um, for employees. Next, we can go out and look at our network devices. You can see that the wireless controller was added and configured for radius, shared secret. And finally, we'll go over and look at our authorization policy. And you'll notice that we have an authorization rule for secure access uh, matching demo.local external groups equals our employees groups. And this is mapped to a pro uh, authorization profile to give us access to that secure access VLAN. We can go look at the policy elements and the results of that as well and see that a basic authorization policy was set up authorization profile um, with access to our, our VLAN, uh, our VLAN uh, number 10. Now we can go into Radius Live Logs and take a look at what just happened. I logged in as employee one. It profiled me as an Apple iPad. See here, I was using the WS Secure Access one x profile. And I came in from that wireless controller 10.1.100.41. Now we can go ahead and look at our wireless controller and see that a, a wireless LAN was created. It's called Secure Access. And under Advanced, it is configured to allow AAA override and radius NAC states that we can actually send down the VLAN um, as an override as well. We go into Security. Uh, radius authentication. You can see that the ICE IP address is set up as a uh, for network user and accounting as well. And that's it. It's really simple to use a tool. Uh, we've went we've been through about five minutes here, and I've showed you soup to nuts uh, what was done on um, on the wireless controller on ICE with this tool to make it extremely simple to set up and use. Thank you very much for watching this video.